Once upon a time in a land not so different from Dolby, there lived a little shepherd boy called David. That's me! David told the sheep to go this way, and David told his sheep to go that way. David gave his sheep food when they were hungry, and something to drink when they were thirsty. He cared for them when they were sick, and even gave them names. David's father was a man called Jesse, and he lived happily in Bethlehem with his seven sons, Eliab, Shammah, and some other guys. Jesse loved his sons, but often forgot about David because he was small and was so often with his sheep. Hang on a minute. Well, I got seven or eight sons. Anyway, one day God told the prophet Samuel to go to Bethlehem to anoint a new king for Israel. It turns out the old King Saul was a cranky bully who didn't have a heart for God or his people. New King time! I'm off to Bethlehem! Samuel travelled to Bethlehem, but the people there were afraid because they thought he'd come to rat them out to the evil King Saul who'd gone crazy with power. Don't worry guys, I come in peace! So, Samuel called Jesse and his boys together and asked him to parade his sons before him like there was some kind of beauty pageant. When Samuel saw the older son, who was tall and strong and fearsome, he thought Eliab was the one. It must be the one. But God told Samuel that it wasn't, and Eliab went away disappointed. Then Jesse made his next oldest and tallest and strongest son come before Samuel. Again, Samuel thought, is this, good, is this could be the one? But again, God told Samuel that it wasn't this one. And the next son went away disappointed. Then God told Samuel that he shouldn't just look at someone's outward appearance. Instead, he should look at the heart. So he asked Jesse, Jesse, you got any other kids? Jesse thought about it for a moment and then remembered he had one more son who wasn't there yet. He called for David and David came running. What's up, Dad? When Samuel saw David, God told him that this was the man he wanted to be the new king instead of Saul. So Samuel threw some oil on David and said, You are now king! Then Samuel took off again to another town. This was quite inconvenient because Jesse, David and all his brothers were a bit confused about what had just happened. Samuel hadn't told David what to do, where to go, or even given him a book about kings so he could prepare. So David went back to doing what he knew, which was taking care of his sheep, and left the rest up to God. That's a really good thing to do when you don't know what to do. Thankfully, God had it all in hand and the Spirit of the Lord came powerfully on David so that as he grew up, so did his heart for God. God had a lot more in store for little King David, but that story is for another day. To be continued.